Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so it may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. The disclaimer is produced by Tony of Tony's Music. Thank you. There are many different types of veterinary schools. They all offer their students various degrees and some offer specialties as well. The first question that you need to ask yourself when deciding on which school to attend is whether or not you want to specialize in one area. If so, you will need to choose the type of school that offers that specialty. For instance, if you are interested in working with horses, then you should look for a school that specializes in equine medicine. The next thing that you need to decide on is whether you want to be a private practice veterinarian or work in a hospital. There are pros and cons to both. A private practice vet can work more hours and see more patients than a hospital-based vet. However, you will have to pay more money for the education and you will have to find your own office space. If you want to work in a hospital, you will have to complete a residency program after graduation. This is because most hospitals require at least two years of experience before they will hire you. You will also have to deal with a lot of bureaucracy. For instance, there is a lot of paperwork that you will have to do in order to get your license and even to keep it. The last thing that you need to consider is where you want to live. Some people like to live in rural areas and others prefer the city. If you want to live in a small town, then you may want to consider going to a small college. On the other hand, if you want to live in the big city, then you should go to a large university. Once you have decided on the type of school that you want to attend, you will need to figure out how much money you will need to borrow. It is best to borrow from a bank or credit union instead of an individual lender. In addition, you should make sure that you have enough money saved up to cover living expenses while you are attending school.